The song Blessed Assurance by Kane is a very loose, live feeling song. It's got a key change in it. It's very like Southern gospel. There is no acoustic guitar in it. And the electric guitar is very live, meaning that there's a lot of variation. It's just kind of feeling the groove of the song, adding little riffs here and there. And so the way I decided to teach it to you, rather than have it be like note for note for note, right? I kind of gave you each section and I did create a part. So kind of like a standardized, here's, here it is tabbed. Here is what uh, you can play and this will be fine. At the same time, I kind of gave little variations each time so you could play around and have fun and like try different things. I don't even know if I played those parts exactly in the music video like I did in those lessons. And that's because it's such a loose feeling song. So the main thing is to understand the chord structure, understand the main things that you can do, get some ideas from the lesson sections and then apply those to the song and just kind of loop through those and just listen to that music video and play along and kind of come up with your own stuff. The acoustic guitar, very simple, just kind of fits underneath, but I think it sits nicely. It's really important to lock in with the rhythm and what the band is doing. Let's go ahead and tune up, watch the music video, and let's get started. Tone-wise, I'm breaking out the Strat on this one. Uh, it definitely doesn't have any, anything to do with the fact I just got it set up and have new pickups in it. Uh, it actually fits the song really well. Um, I, think it's, I think it's the right tone. I'm using my neck position. Um, I've got all the stuff cranked. I wanted it to be pretty crispy in terms of the actual sound through the amp. Just a little bit of drive and you'll notice I've also got kind of a shallow 16th note tremolo going through the whole song. Everything else is on the pedals, which is very little, so let's take a look at that. First off, I've got my uh, Dispatch Master, just a little bit of reverb. You barely even hear it. And like a very slight, a very slight slap back, really unnecessary. I just wanted to give a little bit of, a little bit more body to it. I also kick on the hot cake. You'll notice I've got the presence way back because I don't want it to be bitey. Just a little bit of a drive. It doesn't even get really get a bit of boost. It just gives it a little bit of, little bit of body once it hits that uh, first chorus and we leave that on the rest of the time. Okay, so go ahead and dial it in and let's get on with the lesson. Intro is uh, just a couple chords and it's really gonna give us a lot of the framework though for the feel of this song. We're doing a kind of lower note and then following up with a sharp staccato strum on the higher string. So we're playing a full G bar chord here and we're just one, two, three, four, five, six. So really don't hit that rest. Two, three, four, five, six. Then you just come up to the eighth fret and do the same thing. Three, four, five, six, back to the G. And then that takes you into the verse. I did give you a loop and tab of that down below because I think that is something I would spend a little bit of time with. I really make sure that you're feeling that because that's going to define a lot of what happens the rest of the song. As I mentioned in the intro, there's a lot of room to play around. I'm standardizing here and you can do all kinds of variations off this, but this is the part that I played. So if you just got to like, Jason, teach me the part, this is the part. All right. And I'm just going to walk us through, go ahead and pull up your tabs. It's going to help you out just to kind of keep us in, uh, in context of what's happening. And the main thing is initially we want to have these kind of lower notes followed by a sharp staccato strum of the chord. So for that G, we're one, two, three, four, five, six. So you see there's a rest there, right? So one, two, three, four, five, six. Then for our C chord, we slide in. And that just follows the, the melody. Jesus is mine. Right, so you're sliding in from five to seven, catching the fifth of the D. Then you're gonna bar with your pointer finger and hammer onto the A, onto the seventh. Is, and then you're back to your five. Right, so one more time. Back to that G. Then we walk down one, two, three, five, six, open up the E, and that's just an E minor bar chord essentially, so that's, and I actually leave out the E just to keep it a little smaller, so oh what, or oh what a four taste, then for our A, we're using, 
utilizing the open A, and then just that major triad, a glory D vine, and then I love this D7. You're gonna hear me say that a lot in this lesson probably. Pinky is on the seventh of the B. You're gonna bar the G and the E on the fifth fret, and then utilize the open D, like so. So that's gonna give us that chord and go all the way through. So it's gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, stop. So same, keep that staccato, muting that. Three, four, five, six, one, two, three, six. Uh, air of salvation. I always wanted to go right into the chorus. Uh, right back to your G. Same riff. Churches of God walk down right here. And then full open E minor. Born of his spirit, we're gonna make our A minor. So ring fingers on the seventh of the D pointer G and B, and utilizing the A, and go to that D, washed in his blood. And then here, I just want more like kind of bar chord or power chords, so we can launch into that whole, into that whole chorus. So one more time, through that whole verse, it's going to sound like this, blessed assurance. So I did give you a loop and tab of that down below. Go ahead and give that a shot and let's go on to that next section. So you see we're building off those same ideas just as starting with your, go ahead and pull up your tabs for this make sure you're looking at that. We're just got a nice snap there. This riff is the exact same. Except we go into that note instead of that note just because it matches the melody a little more. This is my song. And a little walk down. My, this one we go full chord, right? So we do the full E minor and up to that shape all the day long. And then this is kind of cool builds. Stop. One, two, three, four, five, six. To catch that C there, it's just a C bar chord. And then back into our G. catch just barring the fifth fret there and then to our D all the day long and then just build into that section and then that helps us drop for that next verse um, so like I said very similar idea but then just kind of building on it, playing around with different thoughts. So go ahead and try that. I do have a loop and tab of that down below. Like get it that way and then start kind of varying it. All right, let's take a look at that next section. Verse two, very similar to verse one. We just have a little bit of overdrive on now. We're going a little bigger and there's this little riff in there. This, And I'm just gonna tell you right off the bat, the timing's super weird. Like you can really throw in any version of this, you know. Anything you want. I tried to keep it right to the album, but it definitely has this kind of like pushed feel to it. So don't worry if it doesn't quite land for you. Just make sure it lands within the rhythm of the song and you'll be fine. Um, so go ahead and pull up your tabs again. We're going to start off on this G. This time we're starting a little softer because every, there's like a stop there. So two, three, four, five, six. The riff is the same. Back to your staccato. Still the same walk down. Here we're gonna start the D build right here. We're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. That's where it's weird. So it starts on the five. 
And it's like every note hurts. You're just playing on that ninth of the D. But like I said, you can kind of play around with it however you want. So you get that stop. I'm sorry, it's so weird. Um, it's right in the loop though, so just kind of practice that and you'll be fine. <laughs> Um, and then from there, I apologize, I wish I could give you more, but this is kind of a funky song. Um, from there, we're going to go uh, right back to, because you stop there, so. Ding. Then right back in your riff. Walk down. Then big open chord for the E minor. Gonna go legato. Play our A minor 7. Up to your D7. And then fully build this G. Two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So one more time all together. Two, three, four, five, six. Walk down. So, I do have a loop and tab of that down below. Go ahead and give those a shot, and let's go on to the next section. Second chorus, very similar to the first, but now we're kind of making it a little bit bigger. Once again, giving you a few variations. So go ahead and just follow along with your tabs. It's going to sound like this. section so once again same idea if you understood the first verse same thing with that one remember we're trying to be very we're trying to be variable we're trying to change things really feel the music so just a few more ideas all right let's take a look at that bridge for the bridge we're just going to break it down following those changes and then we just go big open chords kind of doing the same thing so i'm just going to focus mainly on that little riff and then the chords you just kind of fill out as you feel them um, it's going to sound like this Two, three, four, five, six. And we just repeat that. We do that four times for that little like instrumental and then into the that bridge. And essentially you're going, your kind of downbeat note is staccato and then you're holding the note that's in between. So it goes, so the first one's staccato, just one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. And honestly, the more that you can groove this, if you want to kind of pick around a little upstrokes and that kind of thing. You can also, if you want to throw in those little riffs in there, you can too, you know. Because everything else is also kind of holding those rhythm, those chord changes too. So you're really just playing underneath. So if you want to play around with a little bit of riffing, you can. Um, what I gave, and then once you've gone through that four times, then you're just... Nice and big until we make the change into 
the final chorus. Now, what I'll just mention about the final chorus is we get to the, the mind. We start with the mind. What I gave you below is essentially just the chords that you're playing, because you're just playing bar chords following the changes. Get you to the end. So I just gave you the chord shapes so you can follow along with the chord progression um, rather than trying to throw in all the strums because that didn't really make a lot of sense. But that's essentially it for this song. Remember, we're really trying to have fun with it, fit, fit in the space. It's not meant to be played super tight and like part heavy. It's made to be loose and just kind of feel the groove. And you know, if you're not quite there yet, don't worry about it. You can use these parts and they'll sound great. Everybody will love it. But kind of push yourself like sit in the song with let it loop for a long time and just start kind of playing around i did the same i kind of like figured out my main parts and then i just start playing around with riffs and you know threw some stuff on youtube thought that'd be kind of fun and um yeah just enjoy enjoy the looseness of the song if you're tired of searching the whole internet to look for a decent tutorial check out worshipartistry.com we've got over 600 licensed cohesive song lessons for your whole team link is in the description